chips go back in. No one's been wounded or hurt, so the outlaws still have more actions available than the uh, townsfolk. They get to draw first. Let's hope it's, Jonas is hoping it's not clay over in that building there. Okay, so it's Luke. So here's Luke. Luke's here. He can he can see Samuel, who's at the window, so he's going to take a shot at him. You can also see Bob. It's going to take Luke is armed with a, a Winchester, so it takes two actions to fire at each time. Okay, there's a bit more aim and things going on with that. So let's um, Bob or Sam. Well, Sam's got the carbine. He's the biggest threat, so he's going to go for Sam. Okay, so we use a red dice, which is a rifle dice. Luke has a rifle skill of plus six. Again, it's going to be a pretty good chance of hitting. Let's see. Okay, rolls a four. Add six to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so it's a potential hit. Now, Winchester. It's a one in three. So that means you draw three wound chips and you can choose one of them. Which is important because Sam's at a window and got a fair bit of cover. So, just pull out three chips there. I don't like the look of those ones with the, without, that aren't double sided. Oh, not bad. We've got headshot, chest and a jam. I thought they were both jams for a minute. A headshot would be fine. He applied a headshot to Samuel. It's going to kill him instantly. So, what well a Luke. Let's move you down one bullet. Just get a dead marker out. Alright, so he didn't last very long, did he? Sam. Good shot by Luke. Thought that cover was going to save him for a bit longer. Don't need to apply any more of these. Obviously, if you're dead, you're dead. Okay, so he's going to take his second shot. That's a bit of a blow for the townsfolk, actually. Right, so we can take the second shot of Bob. Let's mark the bullet while I remember this time. Okay. Luke. Rolls a miss. Okay. So at least Bob had to take it. As a townsfolk player, I think I'd have been happy if it was the other way around. But there we go. That's Luke's four actions used up. Let's go and see what the uh, town folk can respond like. We've got Matt. Now we've got Matt here at the window. Now we can see Luke lying down there, because we take uh, line of sight from middle of the square to middle of the square. This horse isn't blocking it, Samson there, Samson horse ain't blocking it. Um, let's have a quick look at Matt and see whether this is a shot worth taking. He's got a Colt 41, okay, it's a decent enough pistol. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, range of six. Uh, it's got a handgun skill of minus one. Y yes, he's gonna, tr he's gonna try it though, okay. The best number on the handgun dice is eight. Um, so basically, he's going to have to roll an eight, isn't he? Yeah. One in six chance. The rewards are great, though. You can take out Luke with his Winchester, who's guarding that end of the town. It'd be great. So, he's got three actions. He take the first shot. He rolls a four. Takes his one off a three. One, two, three. Miss. So, second action. Fire another shot. Six. Takes the one of five, one, two, three, four, and it's not going to be enough. We know there's know only one in six chance of doing it, so come on, let's get an eight. Come on, man. and a miss. Okay, you can tell why he's not an outlaw. Right, so let's go back over to the outlaws and see how they're going to respond to that. Matt's shooting at Luke there. Right, we pull out the professor. Okay, the professor's at the door. He's only got three actions, remember, but he's got this awesome handgun skill. It's going to open the door. One, open the door. We just touch the door, show it's open. One, two, three. Okay, that's the professor done. Let's see who pulls out. Is it Jonas? No, we could do getting Jonas out. We've got Bob. Okay, so Bob's over here. Bob, remember, is armed with only a oh, with a Colt 45. That's a long way for him to shoot. He's got a handgun skill of zero, which at least he doesn't take anything off it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So potentially one, two, three. No, it's 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 too too long a sh too long a shot. Okay, so what we're going to do is Bob with his free actions. He is just going to. Seems so difficult now. We've lost Sam. Okay, he's going to crawl forward one. Okay, that doesn't doesn't give Luke an opportunity to respond. Okay, let's see what the outlaws are up to this turn. Then we've got Clay. There's Clay at the window. Well, Jonas hasn't moved or turned. All we know is he's drawn his shotgun. 
So Clay's going to stand up for one action, leaves him with um, three actions remaining. He's going to draw his other gun now because he's got time to do that. Two actions. Leaves him two actions. He can fire both of them for one action. Okay, so let's fire his favoured one in his in his uh, right hand because he's right-handed. Again, anything. There's no Jonas has got no cover here, but basically, if he, unless he rolls a miss, <laughs> which he does again. Okay, now he's going to fire with his offhand. Now with his offhand, you halve the dice. Okay, but we still add the handgun skill afterwards. So again, it's going to be anything but a miss. Four. Okay, so second shot hits. So that's one from that gun. And one from the other gun that's marked with a second. Shows sure his his offhand gun. Uh, Colt 45 is a one-two weapon, so you draw two wound chits and you can choose which one he wants. Okay, so let's just put two, two, two randomly, see what we've got here. Um, one, oops, not looking, two, what we got? Okay, we use the red side first. We've got a serious belly wound and a leg graze. Well, no doubt about that, the serious belly wound's a far better wound to give him. So Jonas has a which is a minus two wound, one two, leaves him with no actions available. Uh, he falls and he can't stand up. Okay. You can see why they want to give Jonas a good weapon. He doesn't tend to last very long. Um, now Clay can take uh, another shot. I think with Jonas now reduced, and the other thing with belly wounds is next turn after Jonas is activated, his wound is going to get worse, and that's actually going to kill him. So Clay's not going to worry about him anymore. And he's going to use his fourth movement, uh, fourth action to turn and move. Let's go this way because we know David's coming out down there somewhere potentially. Okay, so let's see who we've got here. So we pull up Samuel. Okay, now Samuel has died. Okay, so now we remove his action chit. And because Samuel's removed from the game, we get another draw. So we've got instead we've got David. Okay, so there's David, he's heading towards the back door as the Undertaker. He's got three actions. Be a bit careful with Clay there. So what we're going to do is we will go one into that, open it for two, and then we'll take a look around the corner for three. At this point, Clay can take a shoot, can attempt to take a snapshot. Okay, it's quite a long way, but I think he'll give it a go. He's a pretty good, it's pretty handy with his handguns. Rolls a four, which allows him to take a snapshot. And we can only take one shot, so we're going to fire one of his guns, obviously the one with his preferred hand. Okay, actually his right hand. And what we we'll do is we mark that he's used one of his, his actions uh, with his snapshot counter. Okay, so we we'll drop that down. The range, two David is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, it's quite a long way, isn't it? Okay, and Clay has um, a plus 3 skill, so basically he's rolling 8. Rolls a six, doesn't quite make it. it, scares the life out of David in the process. David's got no more actions, so he can't return fire. Okay, back to the outlaws. Let's see what we've got. There's only Jesse remaining. Um, Jesse's our sort of a one size fits all now. Everything's going fine inside the building, so he doesn't need to worry about that. I think he will come and join Luke. So, one, two, Three, four, and drop down. Okay, we'll keep that side of the that side covered. He could have stopped to have a shoot at Bob, but I think Luke will finish him off in a minute. Okay, Jonas. Jonas can't do any actions. In the end of his turn, we turn his red shit over to dead. Okay, Jonas is dead. It's marking with a dead counter. Poor old Jonas. Didn't really have much. Uh, He's done with drawing his counter a bit earlier. Might have got a shot at Clay then, and who knows, it might have all been different for him. Okay, so let's just move him to there. We've also lost Samuel, so just move him there to remind me which character are not there. Need to leave the cards here because their weapon can still be recovered. Thanks everyone.